and another care video. This time we're doing a care video for the Kilobrat Cheese Swahili, aka the Asian Fawn Tarantula. Now there's tons of um, Kilobratty species out there and I currently have three. Um, obviously I will be doing the care video for the Frimbritis as well. But this care video is taking a look at the Kilobrachis Swahili, aka Asian Fawn. My Kilobrachis Swahili is in this sling vial because it's small, as you can see. Very small. Obviously, I feed it fruit flies, as you can see. Decent amounts of webbing already. Deep substrate to burrow. As you can see, it's burrowed down already. So, Care for the Kilobraki Swahili. Um, obviously, the regions found in North Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina. They are classed as a terrestrial slash fossorial. Um, anywhere from three to ten years above. Um, longevity. Obviously, males will obviously live a shorter lifespan than be females. Temperament. Being a Kilobraki species, they are aggressive, so they are not for beginners. <laughs> They're aggressive and um, pretty much quick. Um, they have no, they have no eradicating hairs. Um, ven venom potency is pretty much unknown. Um, due to its nature, species can prefer either terrestrial or arboreal setups. So provide. As necessary to your tranchless preference. Humidity 70 to 80 percent. Temperature 26 to 32. Not really, um, obviously, at this size. This size, pretty much bean weevils um, or fruit flies. Then, as it moves on to this size. Um, you can start tackling bigger prey items, so maybe bigger crickets, bigger locust, bigger mealworms. But at this size, bean weevils and fruit flies and pinhead crickets will do perfectly. They are a stunning colour, a brownish slash orangish colour. Like I said, they're quick, um, readily available, cheap to buy, heavy webbers, and sometimes attitude. I keep I've kept all my Swahilis in a fossorial slash terrestrial setup as they've got older. So what I mean by that is that enough substrate to burrow and also a hide in there. In case they want to hide under cork bark. And I've had great success keeping a Swahili in a fossorial slash terrestrial setup. Um, no problems. This is my second Swahili. The last Swahili I kept in the old collection was a captive bred female. This one's a sling. <coughs> like I said, readily available. The spider shop currently have some wild caught adult females um some juveniles and some slings this is a captive bred sling cheap as well highly recommended if you like your killer brachies species no it's not the frimbritus this is actually the swahili swahili in here stunning spider highly recommended fast attitude great webbers good coloration Pretty cheap and ready available. And they have it. That's a simple and easy care video for your Kilobrachis Swahili, aka the Asian Fawn Tarantula. So, as always, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more tarantula videos or aquarium videos, then it would be awesome if you could subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment, as it really does help the channel out. And stay tuned for some awesome videos.
coming soon. Bye for now, everybody.